Welcome back. New at noon today in Colorado, 23 people had to be rescued after an elevator malfunction at an old gold mine. One person was killed and four others injured while visiting the attraction. Another dozen people remained trapped underground for about six hours before they were rescued. Carter Evans is outside the mine near Cripple Creek, Colorado. We were able to get the last person out of the thousand foot level of the mine. The rescue mission to get a tour group of 12 people out from the bottom of this Colorado gold mine finally came to an end on Thursday night. Engineers made sure the elevator was working properly before bringing the stranded visitors back to the surface. They all came up very safely. Um, four at a time. How did they fit 30 more people in here? The sheriff's department says the group became trapped after an elevator like the one shown here, unrelated to yesterday's incident, malfunctioned about 500 feet underground while carrying a separate group of 12 tourists. Earlier in the day, authorities announced one had died and four others were injured. We were able to get them out. A number of these people had a pretty traumatic incident. There were two children involved. Um, we are giving them mental health care if they need so. You're looking at video from past years of a tour at the Molly Kathleen Gold Mine. It's a family owned business in operation for more than 50 years. According to their website, they take visitors 100 stories down into the earth in what they call America's only vertical shaft gold mine tour. These folks are inspected quite often. I don't know what their last inspection time was. That's part of the investigation. I will tell you this is the only safety issue we've seen since 1986. Now we've reached out to the tour company that runs the mine and have not heard back yet, but there is a post on their website that says the mine is now closed until further notice. There's still no word on exactly what that malfunction was or how that person died. Carter Evans, CBS News, Cripple Creek, Colorado.